Hey everyone, welcome back. Guys, in this video, I have another WhatsApp automation for you. And this is going to allow you to send different images to different people on a specific scheduled date decided by you automatically. So guys, you can use this automation for different purposes. The example we have taken here is for sending exam results. So exam results is a thing that you want to send to different students on a specific date. Okay, so we are going to set up an automation for this and that is going to save a lot of your time and energy if you use it. So uh, to set up this automation, we are using Pavli Connect, which is an integration and automation tool. And the best part is you can set up this automation without any coding skills or programming knowledge. So this will be the flow of this automation, guys. Here we are using Google Sheets application to enter the data of the students and the results. Okay. And we are going to send the results in image format on the WhatsApp accounts of the student on a scheduled date uh, automatically. Okay. So let's begin. Let's dive right in and let me show you how this is going to work. So this is a spreadsheet I have created to show you the demo of this automation. Here I have entered the student's name, the WhatsApp numbers, the class, the percentage, the result of status of, uh, of the student. And here I have attached the results image URL. And these are the URLs of the Google Drive. Okay, so you can create results and you can upload the results in your drive and you can paste the shareable links of these results here in this column. Okay, so this this is the uh, thing you have to do beforehand before creating this automation. After uh, setting up the data here, you need to reach the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Okay, and to reach here, use this link pabli.com slash connect. We have pasted it in the description also. From here, you can set up your free Pabli Connect account in just two minutes and you will get 100 free automation tasks for every new month. Okay, so sign up right now and log in to reach here. Here, guys, you have to create a workflow of automation. To do that, just click on this create workflow button and here you can give any suitable name to this workflow. So I'm giving the name here, send images on WhatsApp. Okay, or you can give any suitable or relevant name according to you. Okay, after that, just click on this create button and you can see your workflow page is loading up. And on this page, you will see the trigger and the action. So automations work on these two things, guys. So the trigger is that event which is going to trigger or starts the workflow. And the action is the response towards the trigger. As in this use case, the trigger would be a uh, a scheduler feature of Pabli Connect. Okay, so we are going to schedule the running of this workflow on a particular date at a particular time. Okay, so in the trigger, first of all, let's select scheduler, which is this select this application feature of Pabli Connect. And here you can see it is asking how often you want to run your workflow. Okay, so it gives you these three options, you can run this workflow at regular intervals of time, you can run this workflow only once and you can run this workflow every day also. But in our use case, we want to send exam results only once to our students. Okay, so we are going to select once option here, then it will ask for the date on which you want to send those results. So you can put the date select the date from the calendar. So let's say I want to send uh, at 30th of May. Okay, and here it is asking for the time as well. So here you have to put the time in UTC format, which is universally coordinated time format. So uh, I am working in India. So Indians uh, UTC lags behind Indian standard time format by five hours and 30 minutes. So let's say I want to send the exam results on 30th of May 2022 on 9 a.m. in the morning. OK, so for to put 9 a.m. here, I have to put 3.30 actually. So 9 a.m. in UTC is 3.30. So you can use this uh, UTC format here. You can see UTC format and you can actually convert your time zone into UTC by using this time zone converter. Or you can take the help of any online time zone converter. Okay, then you can put the time accordingly. After scheduling the running of workflow, just click on save. Right. And you can see your workflow is scheduled to run once on this date and at this time, right? So uh, now come to this action step. 
so we have scheduled the running of workflow now now what action we want to perform uh, we want this automation to perform is to send the results so before sending the results we must have the data of the results okay so we have the data of the results in the spreadsheet so we are going to connect this spreadsheet application here in this action step so search for google sheets application in place of Google Sheets, if you are using Airtable or any other spreadsheet program, you can connect it here also. We have many application integrations present here. Okay. Now, after selecting Google Sheets, in the action event, you have to select Get Rows option. So, it will get the data of the rows you have entered in your spreadsheet. Select this. Click on Connect. From here, select Add New Connection. Then, click on Connect with Google Sheets. Okay. Now from here you have to select that Google account by, we, by which you have created that sheet. So this is my account Ashi Rai. I am selecting this one. Okay. Now Pabli Connect ask for additional access to access your Google Sheet application. So you just have to click on continue. And that is completely safe and you can see we are getting connected. So in a few moments we will be connected. And now you can see we are connected with the spreadsheet program. Now it is asking to select the spreadsheet from, we, from where you want to get the data. So this is my spreadsheet guys. And the name of this sheet is student results. Okay. So I'm going to select this sheet from this list. So here it will show you the list of all the sheets that you have created till now in your Google sheet application. From here you can search for your sheet. So my, uh, my sheet is this one, student results. You can see I'm selecting this, okay. And in the select sheets name, uh, you can see it got auto populated here because we have only one sheet here in this spreadsheet, the named as sheet one, okay. So it got uh, captured here. Now it is asking for the range of data that you have in your spreadsheet. So uh, to get the range, let me show you in my spreadsheet, you can see the data in my spreadsheet is filled from this column A row 2 to column F and row 3. Okay. So uh, when you select the data, when you select start selecting the data of your students, you can see when you when you are done selecting the data, let me zoom it a bit more. Okay. So we have selected the data and now you can see uh, in this name box, it is showing A2 colon F3. This means we have the data from column A row, row second to column F row third. Okay. So if you have the data, uh, data of many students, just keep selecting the data of the student and you will get the range in this name box. Okay. So just copy this range from here and paste it here in this range field in your workflow. Okay. Right now, when you click on save and send test request, it will fetch the data of all the students all together once in the response. Okay. But guys, we want to send the results one by one to each and every student of ours. Okay. So for that to happen, we need to toggle this simple response button to off first. I'll tell you why we are doing this. Just toggle the simple response button to off, then click on save and send test request and you will get the data now in array format. You can see here in this response result, uh, we got the data of our students and the results in this array format. Okay. So uh, now we have, we are going to separate or segregate this data, this array with the help of a feature of Pabli Connect which is called iterator. So just click on this plus icon here and from this another action step search for iterator you will see iterator is here select it. So what the iterator will do iterator will segregate the data of your students and their results row by row. Okay. So it will show you the data uh, row by row that means it is going to run this workflow row by row and it will send results to each and every student of yours one by one. Okay. So this is a, why we are using iterator here. So he, here it is asking choose your array. So when you click here, it will show you the previous step in the drop down. And from here only you can select this array, this one, this response result array. Okay. So just select it from here. Then click on save and send test request. <clears throat> and now you can see in this response, it is showing the data of the first row only. 
okay so this is how it is going to work first it will run for the first student then for second then for third then for fourth and so on okay so now it is showing you the data of the first student right now uh, what i want i want to send the results data that i got here on the whatsapp account of the student for that to happen just click on this plus icon and from this another action step we are going to search for whatsapp's cloud api okay this is it whatsapp cloud api so it's a newly launched feature of facebook and they have their own cloud api set up for whatsapps by by which we can send messages on whatsapp directly okay so with the help of this we are going to send messages and in the action event you have to select this send template message option and guys if you want to set up your own api for whatsapp you need to uh, see the video that we have pasted in the description where we have explained very clearly and thoroughly how you can set up your whatsapp's cloud api okay so please do check the video and set up your whatsapp cloud api to use this feature inside pavli connect and automate the messages okay right so after selecting the action event just click on connect and from here select add new connection and you can see here it is asking the token of uh, your connection the phone number id the whatsapp business account id so you will get all these things from your uh, meta developer application okay so you have to develop an application under this meta developer uh, platform you can see uh, I am in my developers.facebook.com so this is the developers platform for Facebook and here you have to create an app and you have to provide the access to uh, to send messages to this app okay so you can just check the link that we have pasted in the description from where you can uh, see how to set up this app and how to set up all these things you can see here in your workflow also in this token field you can read the instructions enter your system user generated permanent token as explained here so when you click on here you will reach the forum page of uh, pabli connect you can see forum.pabli.com from here you can see we have two videos embedded first one is how to set up whatsapp cloud api inside pabli connect you can see watch this video and set up your api and here you can see how to generate a permanent token inside whatsapp cloud api okay you can see this also and follow the instructions and you will get your setup ready for sending messages on whatsapp i have already done that and now you can see uh, so first of all when you set up an app here in developer uh, section of facebook it will give you this temporary access token so the temporary access tokens ex got expired in 24 hours okay so after that you have to generate a permanent token and after getting the permanent token you can use it to make the connections every time you want to make the connection here okay so here you can see it is asking for the phone number id and the business account id of whatsapp you will get this from your app that you have created in the developer.facebook.com here on this page when you click on this whatsapp section from the left hand side panel you will reach this page and from here you can see i have this phone number id here and the whatsapp account id so first of all copy this phone number id go back to your workflow paste it here right and similarly copy the whatsapp business account id paste it in this field and here i have to enter the permanent generated access token okay to make this connection so guys uh generating this token is a one time task once you get your permanent access token generated you can use the same token to make the connections again and again inside your workflows so and guys making the connection by this process by filling the token and the phone number id and the whatsapp account id is also a one time process once you made the connection by this process next time if you want to make the connection you can use this existing connection option okay so I am going to use existing connection option as I have already connected by this process in a different workflow. So let me show you just uh, after making the connection once after that select existing connection option and you can use your existing connection by just clicking on save 
and you will be connected again with WhatsApp Cloud API. Okay, so this is how you can connect again. And now it is asking for the template by which you want to send the messages. So guys, uh, to send messages on WhatsApp to multiple people, first of all, we need to create message templates here in the developer section okay, of Facebook. So you can see on this page, uh, in the second step to send messages with the API, here it is written to create your own message template, just click here. So click on this here text and you will reach this page and here you can see I have created and uh, approved all these message templates okay and the template I am using here is this one exam result image template let me show you so guys here the message templates are nothing but the predefined message structures by which you can send messages on whatsapp okay so here you can add a header in the message template you can put a body of the message here you can see uh, this message that I have created will look like this in WhatsApp. Okay, so this is the template and it, it is going to look like this in real time on WhatsApp when we send to our student. Okay, so it is saying hello Akash your class 12th result has been announced the percentage secured the status of the result and you can collect your report card from school and in the image section here in the header I want to put the image of the scorecard. Okay right so to create such templates here let me show you how you can do this let me just cancel this okay so here you can see in this section we have this create template message template button just click on it and here you can select the category in which you want to create the messages here you can give a name to the message message template here you can uh, put you can select the language in which you want to send the messages okay let me show you I'm selecting alert update as the category. I'm putting a name like this alert and I'm selecting English language. Okay. And just click on continue from the top right corner. And here you can select the header like this. You can send a text. You can send a media in, uh, in the header. If you select the media, it will show you the image option, the video option and the document also. And in the body here, you have to type the main message that you want to send so here I am putting hello okay and after putting the hello you can add variables in this message also by clicking on this add variable button you can see a variable tag is added here okay so we need to add variables here because there are some things which we want to change with every new message as the name of the person okay to whom we are sending the message the names can be different of many people. So we want to change the name of the person in the automated message. For that to happen, we need to have these variables added in the message. Okay, so you have to put these tags in strategic places. In the photo, you can put something like the link of your website or anything. Okay, you can add a call to action button also here in the button section. Okay, so after this, just click on submit. After filling all the details, just click on submit and submit your template and Facebook will approve your template in just few minutes and after that you can use that same template to send messages okay I am discarding this okay now uh, let me select my message template from my workflow it will show you the list of all the templates that you have created from here only I am selecting this exam underscore result underscore image okay this is my template after selecting the template, you can see the language code is filled up so you can leave it as it is and this template ID also no need to change here anything and here you can see it is asking for the recipients phone number or the WhatsApp number. Okay, and after that it is asking for the header image and all these body fields. So guys to get a new message delivered to your student, you need to map all this these data. So first of all, here you have to enter the WhatsApp number of your student to whom you want to send the message. So guys, you will get the WhatsApp number from this step. From the iterator step, we have fetched the data and segregated the data and you can see I have this phone number coming from my spreadsheet. Okay. So I'm going to map this number here. So to map this number, just click here on this field and it will show you the previous steps in the drop down. 
and from this third iterator step just map this phone number and you, you need to enter this phone number or whatsapp number in this format you can see with a country code but without a plus sign okay so you have to put the number like this now it is asking for the header image url so in the header image i want to put the image of the scorecard and you will get the image link from this iterator step only and we got the data here from our spreadsheet and from this result image url label you will get the link of the scorecard like this now it is asking for the body fields so i have already shown you about the body fields or the variables that we have in our message template so you can see we have this one two three and four variables here okay so to get these variables filled automatically in a new message like this you can see hello akash and in the second body field we have 12th in the third body field we have the percentage in the fourth body field we have the result status and in the fifth uh, okay so we have only four so to get these body fields filled automatically in a new message we need to map the values of these fields here in our workflow so to map these fields just use the data that we have captured from our spreadsheet and from this iterator step just map the name of the student in second body field map the class label third body field map the percentage label here is the percentage and in the fourth body field map the status label okay right and guys we are <clears throat> done here and i have access of this whatsapp account so i can show you how the message will appear in real time so to check your connection with whatsapp you can use this save and send test request button and by clicking on it we are going to receive a new message here in this whatsapp account okay let me show you i'm clicking on save and send test request so guys this is the response we have received here and you can see we have received a new message in this uh, whatsapp account let me show you this and, and here you can see the message is this it is saying hello akash david your class 12th results has been announced person secure is 70 results pass you can collect your report card and here we have attached a uh, scorecards image as well oh, so i have selected this just for showing you the example okay and here you can see in place of the body fields we got the data automatically added in the same places as we have had the uh, as we have had the variables here you can see okay so this is how it is going to work in real time guys and we are done setting up this automation let me give you a quick recap what we have done here so first of all I connected scheduler in the trigger to schedule the running of this workflow on a specific date and time. After that, I connected Google Sheets application to fetch the details of the students and their results here. And we have captured in this array of data format. After that, I converted it, segregated the data with the help of iterator to run this workflow for each and every student row by row, one by one. And after that, I connected WhatsApp cloud API in the action step and selected our template and mapped the data like this to uh, send a message to our student on WhatsApp. All right. And guys, the best part is you can use the same workflow that I have created and you have to set up this automation only once. After that, it is going to run automatically. You don't have to do anything manually. So you'll find the link of this workflow in the description so that you can clone it in your own free public connect account and start using this automation instantly. Guys, thank you so much for watching our video and please, please let us know how our automation ideas are helping you in the comment section. And if you have any queries related to this application, please ask your queries from this forum link and do check the pricing of this application from this link. And guys, we are open to ideas. If you want us that we should make videos on other aspects of your business, please do let us know in the comment section. And if you like our work, please subscribe to our channel.